guys, how are you doing? This is Mango Etc and I'm here today to bring you with Dragon Ball Super episode 101. So the majority of the episode was the five storm um stormtroopers, you know, the five pride troopers against Goku, Khalifa, Kali, two androids. Uh and I'm just really disappointed if I'm completely honest. Now in total we have had six Prior Troopers, who I must remind you, have come from the strongest universe present, have been easily defeated. They have been fodderized for the most part so far. We've got four members left, so we know Topo, we've seen him go up against Goku, we know he's strong. There's so much hype behind um, Jiren right now. Jiren, how do you pronounce his name? So let's just hope this other two come with something special in terms of, you know, techniques, yeah, because they did have some somewhat impressive techniques, Stormtroopers, I mean, the Pride Troopers we saw today, but the fact that they got defeated so easily just really disappoints me, and now, uh, it was because of this disappointment, I went to go check the mortal levels of, levels, so, of the other universes, and we are not given them, we're only given universe Seven, Goku's universe and the universe under it. And now Goku's universe's mortal level is something is three point something. Three point something. Let's just say it like that. And we know that no of the universes present have a mortal level over seven. So because we don't know universes eleven universe eleven's mortal level, it makes me more forgiven of the fact that everybody, well, everybody so far, from the six people from Universe 11 that have been defeated were further out, so it makes me more forgiven of that, but it was still disappointing to see. So another thing that disappoints me, not just with this episode, but just in general, is that I don't think, I don't feel like everybody's taken, not, yeah, I don't feel like everybody's taken this tournament as serious as they should be, because I feel like those two guys that were fighting Goku early on, they could have got rid of him if they were serious about it within this episode. And so that was a that's one thing just within this episode of an example of people not taking things seriously. And also at the end of the episode where Goku could have got rid of definitely Kali because she was like unconscious and if Khalifa didn't want to um if Khalifa didn't want to like jeopardize her team in the tournament, she would have sacrificed Kali kind of thing. But Goku could have potentially got rid of both of them at this present moment in time. Yes, you know, kind of we kind of forgiven of that one, but definitely the first one I mentioned, there was a chance for them to get rid of them. So like I get the vibe that people are not taking this tournament so um, seriously. Uh let's just talk about some some positives. <laughs> So I'm I'm happy about the fact that Kali can now control Lenny Go Super Saiyan because that whiny, moany little girly girl Kali was getting annoying. So the fact that now that she can control her power, I'm hoping that leads to a change in her character which will make her more likable. Another thing that it was good but I wasn't feeling it as much as I reckon I should be. It was the whole bit where we had Khalifa protecting Kali. And the reason why that was good is because it was kind of touching. And I feel like it could have been more touching if we had more time with the character. Like for me personally, Kali and Khalifa, no, that's a shame, Khalifa is really just, I'm on the fence with her. I don't like her or dislike her because we haven't spent much time with the character and yeah I just feel like that bit it could have been more touching to me if I had if I was more invested in the character. Uh the episode ends off where we have I call it the idol universe. The girl from the idol universe is watching over Goku obviously well not obviously but it seems that like she's planning to attack and now I'm kind of excited for that because we know She's the leader, so if she's not the strongest member on the team, she's most definitely one of the strongest, but then again, I could, that might not be the case, because for our universe, we have Gohan, who's the leader, and he's not even, he's mm, the strongest one. But yeah, what I'm getting at is, is that we have her just watching over, 
and it's the university she's going to tech and that gets me hyped because she's from universe 2 and uh, the second strongest universe present at this tournament so I'm hyped for the next episode because of that just to see what she can do. I'm going to give this episode a 3 star rating and call it a review like always by the Moscow for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.